Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the ZK Teco VF series. The VF series comes in three models. We have the VF380, we have the VF680, and we have the VF780. So you see, these devices are primarily attendance devices, but they can also perform simple access control functions. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can make these devices perform simple access control functionalities using Power Time Africa. So stay tuned. So here we have our 12 volt adapter, so which I'm going to be using to power the device. I have another 12 volts, which I'm going to use to energize the lock. And I have my VF780, I have my mag lock, I have the mounting back brackets. I'm actually not going to be using this. I have my RFID card and I have my laptop. So first, so th this is the um, device jack, it comes with the device. So at the back of the device, you'll be seeing NC communication and hole. So the NC is for normally closed, the COM is for communication, the NO is for uh, normally open. So we have 12 volt and ground here, so you can also power this device using the jack, but I'm just going to be using uh, the 12 volt points that have been provided here already. So I plug in my jack. So you can see that I'm using two strands of Ethernet cable. So these are two, two strands. We have the blue, we have the white. So I'm going to be plugging my 12 volt adapter. But before that, I think it would be better to make the connection first. So I'll plug the other 12 volt adapter which I'm going to be using to energize the lock and also make my uh, interconnection of the device and the lock. So the first thing to pay attention to is the diagram, the connection diagram. So you should always know that normal, normally close on the device would always go to the positive of the lock. So I'm going to be connecting the normally close of the device to the positive of the lock. So I'm just going to make a simple connection. So always ensure that your device is not connected to power yet. So you can connect your device to power after, you can power off your device after you've made your connection. So connect first before powering on the device. So my normal close will be going to the positive of my lock. So the communication on my device, the comb on my device is will be going to the power supply of my other 12 volt adapter. So this is the positive of my power supply of my other 12 volt adapter, which I labeled here 12 volts. So I'm going to connect that. So I'm going to be using the negative point of my lock. So I'm going to be using the negative point of my lock and I'm going to be connecting it to the ground of my 12 volt adapter. So you can see that the lock is energized. So, so then I can now power the device. Everything is set. So this device has two authentication functionalities. We have the so we have the face and the card. So you can only use make use of the face and the card for authentication. So I'm going to wait for the device to power. So the device is powered up. So I'm going to be trying 
my card, but first I would need to register the card. Okay. You can see this is not connected. So my lock is powered, my lock is energized. So I would need to register the card. I create new user. Then I come to part number, flash. So you can also verify with your face. I can also verify with my face. So So the system is trying to capture my facial algorithm. So it uses infrared lights to capture my feature, my facial features. Please lower your head. Thank you. Yeah, so we are good. So my ID is four. Then I can now make my authentication. So as you can see, the lock has been de-energized. So I'm also going to use my face. So you can see. So that's how to make the simple access control functions. Now I'm going to connect it to Bowtime Africa for to serve its attendance purpose so uh, the device has a wi-fi function so i'm not going to be needing um, LAN cable or ethernet cable whatsoever so i'm going to be using my wi-fi functions <laughs>
with um, the device. Then we connected it to Biotime Africa. So this is for people that are more particular about attendance and not really particular about um, the access control. Also, you can generate, so using the attendance sections, you can go to reports and generate the first thing last out. So this is first thing last out. So using this first thing last out, you can generate reports of your employees. Let's say you are using this device as, uh, you are using this device for attendance and uh, access control and employees have to check in, check out. So you can make use of this device and generate the first thing last out. So this is just a, the basic report you are going to be getting if you are more particular about the access control functionalities. But aside that, you can generate any other report. But this is the closest thing you can get from uh, generating access control rep uh, reports. So this is it on using the VF series uh, with Biotime Africa and connecting it as uh, standalone to the maglock using simple basic access control functionalities. Thank you.